Hi again. In this video we'll be talking about a very important tool in programming called variables. You've probably seen variables in school already. Sometimes they're called mystery numbers. For example, in questions like 5 plus mystery number equals 8. You can figure out that the mystery number here is 3. But in a different question, the mystery number might be something else. In programming, variables aren't just mystery numbers. They can also be mystery words or images, or even something called functions that you'll learn more about later. Basically, variables are like baskets that hold anything you put in them. And the word we use when we put something in that basket is assign. It's like when your teacher assigns you homework. We assign things to variables with an equal sign. For example, we could create a variable called cupcakes, and we'll assign it a value of 10. So all we have to write is cupcakes equals 10. Then later, if we want to add one more to the variable called cupcakes, all we have to write is cupcakes plus 1 equals cupcakes. And so the basket that we call cupcakes now has 11 in it because we've added one. Here's another example. You can make a variable called lives and tell it to hold the number 3. Then you could use the variable lives in a video game, and every time your character gets killed, you can have lives go down by 1, from 3 to 2 to 1. And when the variable lives reaches 0, then it's game over. In Lua, it would look something like this. Lives equals 3. If Mario dies, then lives equals lives minus 1. This tells the computer to subtract 1 from the variable called lives each time Mario dies. Next, if lives equals 0, then game over. You can probably see what happened here. When the variable called lives reaches 0, the game ends. There are lots of different uses for variables, and you'll start seeing some of them when we begin programming. That's it for this video. Next, we'll cover objects.